Good morning guys, welcome back. So I know last time I mentioned that we were gonna kind of close out the layout reviews and move on to something else, but I actually been trying like another product and I figured it's definitely worthwhile to talk about because the Layrite grooming spray is actually pretty impressive. And this is the first time we're gonna be talking about a grooming spray of any kind, of any kind of like, like grooming spray, tonic, I mean ha hairspray, we're not gonna talk about hairspray, because this should be distinctly different from that, distinctly different from hairspray, distinctly different from tonic oils, in that this isn't gonna provide really any hold on its own. Not unless you have weird ass hair like Harrison. With Harrison, you can literally throw water in his hair and like a blow dryer and you can style it. But that's like really weird. But this thing is more of a primer. I use it to kind of prime my hair in order for like a lower hold, like kind of really light product to actually get some solid hold and be able to still take advantage of a really lightweight product with like a solid grip hold and a more like natural texture type of style. And that's how I use this one. There's different ways, but primarily I use it as a primer. And so we're going to go ahead and start off by looking at the bottle because it's actually like the rest of the new kind of uh, look of the lay right line is pretty fucking beautiful. This is lay right grooming spray. Uh, Pomade primer, thickening spray, weightless hold, and primarily I'm going to show you guys today it as a pomade primer. Um, beautiful bottle, same type of like kind of plastic as the other jars, but this one has an even more satin finish. Like when you run your fingers, like you, I guess you can kind of see it. It has this nice like diffused like shine to it, but once you feel it, like it's fucking beautifully smooth. Like not just like a cheap polish smooth, but there's like a little bit of like just very fine texture to it. One of the <laughs> most beautiful bottles I ever held in my hand. This is a 6.7 fluid ounce bottle. You have other information on the back, uh, application, ingredients, whatnot. And of course it has a, a cap to protect the spray top and just has a misting spray. But yeah, very beautiful. So. I'll show you how I use it. So the idea here is that like, I just got out of the shower, I have towel dried hair, still kind of moist, and I'm going to spray and apply this grooming spray so that it's kind of like evenly distributed and I'm going to let it dry, which leaves like behind a layer that acts as a primer for the, any sort of pomade I choose. And so the use is really, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to spray like just very leniently, just trying to get it everywhere. And obviously focusing in on where it's going to be crucial, which is where we normally apply the pomade, which is underneath like the palm. That's where we really need things to sit. And you can kind of imagine this as you're spraying and wherever you spray, the pomade, once it touches that area, it's really going to sit in there and like just latch on. And once it's like sprayed in, what I honestly do is just comb everything in the general direction. And like right now, it's already kind of just like kind of drying up a bit. But like normally I would just go ahead and walk away and kind of do some normal stuff, kind of like like get my breakfast ready, prep for lunch, uh, work out, um, take care of Luna, and I'm talking more like 15 minutes or under that, and then come back and style, because I just want the product to dry. Now, with here, I'll just talk to you guys through it, because it's already drying up, and I'll just continue on from here, I don't need to walk off. You can also choose to use a blow dryer if your hair is very wet. Obviously, you guys already know the channel, we don't use it, we don't, like, I don't feel the need to waste my money on a blow dryer, and also waste my time accelerating the drying effect or accelerating the drying process because I have other things to do in the morning that are more important that I'm going to take care of that will over the course of time cause like the water to kind of evaporate anyways. Now with the grooming spray you have a few choices. Um, it doesn't even have to be a lay right product that you choose like this thing works almost universally. 
Um, but for me, I prefer to use it with um, the matte cream. Primarily because with the matte cream, like, it really is a super lightweight product, isn't as um, uh, kind of brutal, isn't as um, strong hold as um, the cement clay. The cement clay, I don't feel, needs an additional um, primer for it. I think it's already strong enough. Um, the Super Shine is also another good product to consider with the grooming spray, but today, the reason why I use this, very lightweight, it has like a medium hold, but this one sets it in to be like a very like stiff medium hold. Ends up being a beautiful texturizing product and awesome like styling experience. Like, will this thing work without the grooming spray? Yes, but if you want it to really like really sit in for, like for like a longer period of time during the day, then the grooming spray really helps that. I've even tried it with other products and it works similarly. But yeah, go ahead and start styling with this one. And it'll be the same styling process, so I'll go ahead fast forward through this one for you guys. So that's what we get. I mean, you see more volume, more height, and later in the day, you'll notice that it really settles in and like kind of is more resilient. And so kind of in general with the grooming spray, because it sets out a primer, you can use less product. You can really take advantage of like a light product, a lightweight product, kind of like giving that freeness, that looseness, that texture. And then you like kind of are able to really pull out that volume, pull out like the strength and the hold, even, even if it has very little to provide. And so that's like the optimal reason or the primary reasons I choose to use the grooming spray. Plus it smells nice, it has that late right vanilla smell. And yeah, and so that's really like what it is. It's very simple, it's very straightforward to use, dries quickly and not adds almost like no additional time to your styling process. But still, I do want to go throughout the whole day and come back in a few hours. Then we're going to verify like that it did like kind of increase the endurance, increase the resilience because I do want to show that to you guys. But yeah, so see you guys in a few hours. All right, so I'm back now. And as you can see, things have changed, but actually it's pretty impressive like we still have good form and like it's very easy to restyle with the help of the grooming spray because what it feels like is that this product has like the same texturing effect it has the same grip but like when you work with a product that kind of like kind of breaks apart and kind of um, tries to kind of like puff away when you restyle without water like I feel like this grooming spray helped kind of like grip it down It's still like locked in in some way and like the shape is still beautiful and like I feel like The natural matte cream is the best way to take advantage of the grooming spray because like I've used it with a cement clay and it gets like unbelievably strong I mean like yes if you have like trouble styling hair it's really really like hard to work with then maybe that's the way to go but it was like fucking too strong like with the added grooming spray as a primer it just made it way too strong and you can also use the grooming spray to restyle as well like if you kind of come back home and you work with a product uh, like this then you can spray it in and actually restyle it very easily we just it's not necessary in this case like this it, it still looks freaking good and so, like, that's what I see the grooming spray. That's why I see the big advantage of the grooming spray. This is, as I mentioned before in the beginning of you, this is distinctly different from any sort of tonic oil and very different from what, like, the rest of the world understands to be as, like, a hairspray. This is a grooming spray, something to very much simply assist and support, like, your normal daily schedule. And I mean, obviously, washes out with just water, rinses everything out very easily. And 
It's something I honestly use whenever I use a layer wrap product. I add it in just to make sure that when I style, everything is just nice and I don't need to worry. Because you know, you guys have some of those like bad days where it's just impossible to style with. The grooming spray basically just removes all that for me. And so I use it actually pretty often. A lot more often than I thought. But essentially what you get is it just makes sure the product really grips in, settles in, and is really like most effective in your hair. Just make sure that you can get the most out of the product. And it's very simple, but it helps. And that's literally what I see it as not necessary, but like extremely, extremely helpful and something that has become one of my daily products as well. So anyways, I want to go ahead and wrap it up here. This has been a review for the Layrite Grooming Spray. And I mean, I'm sure and I hope that you guys got something out of this review because this is something we never looked at before and the first time I reviewed it. I've used other grooming sprays before, I've had them use on me before, but I think this is actually the first time where I felt the need to actually showcase it to you guys. But yeah, other than that, take care, have a good weekend, and peace.